stop. Were you thinking about doing the Navy Federal Pledge Loan Credit Hack? Well, you came to the right video because this can actually damage your credit score if you're doing this the wrong way. And this is what people are not telling you about this pledge loan hack with Navy Federal. But there is another product at Navy Federal that can actually increase your credit score much faster than doing the pledge loan. Now, there are times where the pledge loan can be beneficial, but you need to know when and why to do this. And we're going to jump into it in this video. Now, if you're new to my channel, my channel is designed to help you no matter where you are in your credit journey. And we're showing you how to leverage your credit to make money. So if you like that kind of information, make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and hit your notification bell so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. At my website, I give you a free hard inquiry removal package because hard inquiries can get you denied for credit. And I have other packages for purchase to help you remove your negative items. I rolled out my elite business circle for those who want to make extra income or leave their nine to five. Or if you're a current business owner, this will help you establish business credit and get business loans. And I'll show you techniques to make money in the first 30 days if you want to sign up. I also have my elite credit system with my credit coaching and AI software and users like Sean is getting great results. He went from a 612 credit score with all his scores over 770. This was in a matter of six months and now he's at an 803 credit score. If you want to check out all these options, I'll leave the link in the description of the video and in the pinned comment section. Now, if you're thinking about using the Navy Federal pledge loan hack, in order to increase or rebuild your credit score, there are some things that you need to know about. Number one is how the credit system works. Now, imagine you are back in high school. Your credit report is like your report card. And there are certain categories that hold more points or more weight to make up your whole average of your GPA. The same thing with your credit score and your credit report. In high school, if you had English, math, and science, these categories actually held more weight than your gym class and maybe certain electives. So you wanna look at your credit score the same way. So let's break it down. The first factor in your credit score, which is hold the largest weight, is payment history. How you paid your bills on time in the past that is 35 percent of your credit score the next category which is 30 percent of your credit score is debt to available credit so how much debt versus how much available credit like if you have a ten thousand dollar credit card but you have five thousand dollars worth of debt that is 50 percent so that makes up 30 percent of your credit score then the third biggest factor is age of credit. That makes up 15%. So how old is certain accounts on your credit report? Then you have mix of credit. That is 10% of your credit score. And mix of credit is, do you know how to handle multiple kinds of accounts on your credit report? like an installment loan, credit cards, different mix. Then the last category is new inquiries. And that makes up 10% of your credit score. And with new inquiries, are you actually searching for credit? Because each time that you do a credit pull, it can decrease your credit score. So this make up your category. So one of the things when it comes down to the pledge loan, when people are telling you to either build your relationship with Navy Federal or to do this pledge loan to help you improve your credit score, what happens is this helps with payment history. So payment history is 35% of your credit score, but this takes time because each month that you pay on time, then you'll start to see your credit score increase. And that can take you about four to five months before you really start to see your score to start to go up. 
don't be surprised sometimes if you get a new account you may see an initial decrease in your credit score so with the navy federal pledge loan what people tell you is to start that to build a relationship with navy federal where you put the deposit down and make those on-time payments now where this hurts people credit score i seen people go crazy with getting multiple uh navy federal pledge loans and they might do it for six months only and then shut it down pay it off and do another pledge loan that is killing your age of credit you guys so that 15 percent category age of credit is very important especially when you get over a 700 credit score that plays a big part of your credit score so you can start killing your age of credit if you're doing multiple pledge loans for a short period of time paying it off and shutting it down so you want to extend it longer another thing you're adding debt so sometimes people get large pledge loans because they want to show financial responsibility of paying it off but debt can get you disqualified for loans home loans credit card approvals because it looked like you can afford less now there's some people that say well you pay off a big chunk at the beginning and it decreases what it looked like that you owe because you pay so much of the actual loan off in the beginning but just keep in mind you want to extend that out for a long period of time in order for that to help you increase your credit score and it's going to take multiple payments like i just mentioned now here's the best option at navy federal if you're under a 700 credit score and you really want to see your score go up quickly by 50 points once this product report you need to go for the secured credit card because think about this like i mentioned earlier debt to available credit is 30 percent of your credit score which people negate utilization changes every month and by adding a new revolving line of credit on your credit report you'll see a 50 point increase on average if you're under a 700 credit score now for those over that 700 you don't want to do this because it can be counterproductive because of the age of credit category so you would use another strategy but if you're under a 700 credit score this will boost your credit score in that 30-day period by 50 points instead of waiting for multiple on-time payments with the pledge loan because it is an installment loan now the other part of this is you can build payment history by making on-time payments with a credit card so you're going to get double advantage from that product now you're going to help payment history which is 35 percent of your credit score and debt to available credit because now you have a credit card with available credit and so many people when they're using this pledge loan they might have no credit cards so you're adding more debt with no available credit because financially things might have went awry and all your credit cards have shut down you really need that 30 percent category to help increase your credit score now adding on that secured credit card it's going to also help your age of credit because unlike the installment loan with the pledge loan that loan closes out and anytime an installment loan close out it decreases your credit score initially because it hurts your age of credit but with a credit card it constantly revolves it does not shut down there's no end date only if you close that account down and you really rarely ever want to close down a credit card because it will hurt your credit score with this revolving line of credit with navy fed with the secured credit card that's going to increase your credit score help you build payment history which is 35 percent 
and your utilization, that's 30%, and your age of credit over time, which is 15% of your credit score. So that's a much better option, and it will allow you to build a relationship with Navy Federal instead of counterproductively hurting your credit score. Another thing with Navy Federal, you might want to see if you pre-qualify for their credit card before even putting down the down payment. Now, with their secured credit card down payment, what you can do with Navy Federal, after six months, they will review your account. And I have seen them have a unsecured line of credit, even when a person put down $500 they unsecure it to $2,000. And I seen it happen in four months, but primarily they're gonna start looking at how you manage that card within six months. So this is a better strategy for you to increase your credit score fast. Now where you can really benefit for this Navy federal pledge loan, if you're a person with a thin credit profile, meaning I lost a lot of accounts, and now I have some credit card accounts and I need an installment loan that will help me. But primarily, if your score is under a 700 credit score, adding revolving lines of credit is best. You wanna add one, let it report, wait 30 days, and then once it report, you should see your score go up. Now also using the pledge loan could be beneficial for those who have over that 700 credit score and you might not have a mix of credit you might not have that installment loan and so you're trying to really get to that 800 mark maybe this can help you if you only have credit cards you don't have a card a note and you want to add that mix of credit this can help you in that category so Hopefully this information was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, drop it down in the comment section. But if you have more detailed questions for me, you can go to my website and all your questions go directly to my cell phone. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.